Hello everyone once again, uh, my name is Sam Skralo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this video we're gonna talk about Ethereum and all the altcoins and what's going on with each single one and what am I personally doing and what's the reason behind this huge sell-off in Ethereum besides all the things that we already know and uh, the things that were covered in the previous videos. So this is a very important video, uh, some conspiracy theories, some important stuff, some news updates, some uh, everything basically that you have to know if you're into cryptocurrencies if you're uh trying to buy into the dip so to speak so something you really have to watch and then at the end of the video we're going to talk about some price targets for certain altcoins and what am i doing with my altcoin portfolio etc so if you're brand new please hit that like button at the end of the video you can always dislike it if you would like but would love to see some love from my community and also if you're brand new hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you're always notified when i make a new upload because you have to make uh, watch these videos as soon as they come out and from the beginning and until the end otherwise there's no point in watching them so be very attentive to each single word that i'm saying because we've been making in this crazy down market we've been making some crazy gains some of the trades we've taken recently were absolutely insane and also join my free telegram channel link in the description a very useful place and a great community to chat with and without any further ado let's just jump right into it So Ethereum, uh, we are seeing an insane drop currently. Well, we'll talk about altcoins, but uh, Ethereum being the biggest altcoin. And since the break right here, 31% down. And I mean, I've been buying into Ethereum the whole way, you know, bit by bit and step by step. The lower we go, the more I buy. But in this video, I really want to discuss, you know, is this the end of Ethereum? And you know, the reason why this is happening, because we are currently seeing very positive news that Ethereum is finally on the last steps of merging to proof of stake, which is gonna reduce the carbon footprint by 99%, increase the potential scalability, etc. And it's gonna solve a lot of other issues. So Ethereum is a very good project and a very strong team. And their merge to, uh, let's take a look. Uh, so basically their uh, testnet um, merge to POS went live so and it went really well and they were actually celebrating so that's pretty good there were no major issues so that means that potentially we could see the main um, merge of the mainnet of ethereum to POS a proof of stake in about a few months maybe in uh, anywhere from August at the earliest to September October November so that's very good news and this is going to be extremely important for the huge milestone for ethereum and uh, also it's gonna take us closer to sharding and sharding and roll-ups and all that good stuff if you don't know what sharding is it's basically you know when they're splitting the network into many and that improves the scalability of the network and could take potentially ethereum very close to a hundred thousand transactions per second mark like for example visa and mastercard have so this is re very cool and a lot of things are happening and moving forward even though there were many delays so we are seeing this you know positive news that no major issues were were seen with the Robston testnet but as we can see the price is still going down the ethereum is just suffering like crazy so from the all-time high we currently have a 76 percent discount which is absolutely incredible and you know the big question is why so if everything is so great with ethereum well guys and girls number one ethereum is an altcoin so it's going to suffer together with every other altcoin especially when bitcoin is going down and everything currently is going down we are in the bear market so there is really nothing else that you can uh, pretty much do in this kind of a situation so we cannot expect the ethereum to just suddenly take off to the all-time high but now let's talk about the other main reason why the price is currently going down and remember that actually we can uh, quickly talk about the fact that i did buy some altcoins today i did buy some ethereum today just technically because we are currently at 200 moving average right here so we can have some kind of relief maybe from here i don't know maybe <laughs> depending on what's going to happen with macroeconomics and bitcoin but bitcoin has uh, stretched out a bit to the downside as well so we might slow down a bit at around twenty-two thousand dollars. so we'll see what's going to happen with that so it's not a bad place to accumulate right so add on to your portfolio and i did buy some old coins as well and if you are asking me where am i doing all of that then uh, i'm doing it over on buy a bit and just by the way, quick buy a bit shill that with my exclusive link to buy a bit, which you can find down in the description of this video or in the pinned comment. Um, if you use my link to sign up with buy a bit, it takes like 20 seconds. 
then you can claim up to $4,100 in free bonuses on top of your initial deposit of real money. Bybit is giving it away as an incentive for people to trade with Bybit. And they're really a good exchange. I mean, uh, they were voted as the most transparent one back in 2021. So great place to buy altcoins as well. So use my link. It will also help support the channel. So I did buy some altcoins and I'm going to go through the list closer to the end of the video. We're going to talk about some price targets and uh, sizes, the drops and what am I looking at. So we'll talk about this shortly. So currently once again technically we're coming to 200 moving average which is very important moving average in the weekly chart for really any crypto especially bitcoin and ethereum is not an exception and when we take a look at the technicals then we'll see that the previous bear market basically from the top down to the absolute bottom it took us about 303 uh, 336 days and in this instance, again, this is, this is just indicative. It's not a prediction of anything. And here in this instance, this time is going to be around this vicinity in this purple area right here. So we potentially could be doing and seeing something like this, especially when the merge is finally going to happen, the main one, and then we're going to confirm it. And some of the stuff and the bad weather that is currently blowing in the direction of Ethereum is going to finally blow over. And we're going to talk about this right here in just a second because of the Celsius situation. So this could be it, right? So for that reason, what I'm personally thinking that our absolute bottom could be for Ethereum around somewhere a little bit below $1,000. I'm buying into these just in case if we suddenly are going to have some kind of a turnaround, which is again, not financial advice, but it's highly unlikely. I still believe that we're going to have a lot of uh, way down and then some kind of accumulation phase and uh, consolidation before we even going to start considering going up. But it still is not a bad time to put together a portfolio in the bear market, which is going to make a lot of people rich in the next year or two or three years. So and also technically quite interesting to mention that we are going past the previous all time high in Ethereum. So we're going into this territory of the price from previous cycle. So this is also very, you know, bullish, so to speak. So it's just indicative that the bottom is relatively close. And certainly if we're going to be, you know, one of those people who are looking at these kinds of statistics, which is not really that relevant, but nonetheless, Ethereum being the old coin, the last bear market, it went down 94%. And right now it has da gone down only about what 75 percent so if we're going to believe in these kinds of statistics then 95 percent is going to be all the way to something like 263 dollars but i don't really believe in something like this especially seeing this kind of ethereum bitcoin dominance so to speak when we are seeing uh, ethereum claiming more and more market cap uh, from taking more and more market cap from Bitcoin. And certainly here is a very important support. Uh, let's quickly draw it like this. So we really want to hold this right now because otherwise if we're going to break down, um, then our next target would be somewhere around the 0.15. Um, and but this still puts us in bullish vicinity for Ethereum in relation to Bitcoin. So that's that's not bad. So in this is what this says is that we Ethereum is becoming stronger because there is a team that is developing that is adapting to the market conditions legally, physically with the transition to POS to look good in the eyes of the regulators that they are not using so much, you know, electricity to, you know, power the network, etc. And all the cool things that they're coming up with and all the development. So for that reason, and I would not, as I said before, in my Ethereum detailed Ethereum video, I'll link it somewhere up here. You have to check it out. It really, it's really long, but it's really cool. It explains a lot about Ethereum. Then in that instance, you know, we can actually say that Ethereum at some point could out, uh, outperform Bitcoin. So it's a definitely a good buy for a long term hold. But in my opinion, we're going to still see some kind of, kind of potential downside. So you can start accumulating bit by bit a little bit here, then a little bit at $1,000. $1,000 is going to be obviously a very important psychological level. Level. Then the next level could be about 800, then 600. But I don't really think that this vicinity we ever gonna see. Maybe in this area, yes, with everything that is happening, inflation, Fed is gonna crush the economy. Is gonna be a recession, which we are actually pricing in right now as well for Ethereum. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. But there is a big uh, reason why we're currently going down so much in Ethereum, and that is going to be this right here. Bitcoin tumbles as crypto lender Celsius holds withdrawal. So there is this big company Celsius and it's a huge crypto lender like $12 billion in size. And there has been an issue with staked Ethereum versus yeah, uh, regular Ethereum. So we can take a look at it here uh, in curve and you'll see that currently one Ethereum is trading at 
uh, 0.94 staked Ethereum. So that's not very good. So when it comes to lending and when everything is so over leveraged and uh, you know there are liquidity liquidity crises happening in general because everything is selling off, there is a lot of pressure on these companies that have huge leverage, they're building these algorithmic mechanisms, whatever. And then, you know, there is some conspiracy conspiracy theories going around, which we're going to get to in just a second. Then, of course, it's going to affect uh, Ethereum price in general, because let's go back to, no, let's go back to this one and we'll see that Bitcoin and other leading cryptocurrencies stumbled on Monday after a $12 billion lender uh, Celsius network halted customer withdrawals in the latest sign of intensifying strains across the digital asset industry. Um, basically, the fall followed uh, suspension of withdrawals and transfers between accounts on Celsius, one of the biggest crypto lending platforms, which blamed extreme market conditions, whatever. They always blame something. And this is what actually, this is what we started speaking about before and uh, that, you know, we had this very good news in terms of the launch of the testnet and the merge of testnet to POS. But nonetheless, uh, Ethereum's strong bearish technicals appear to have uh, overpowered its POS testnet breakthrough. So yeah, they admit that it went fine. And the ongoing imbalance between Ether and its supposedly pegged token staked Ether could be a reason behind it, according to blah, blah, blah. So the thing is that currently, of course, we're seeing this, this kind of depegging and the people who were trusting Celsius as a lender, now they want to claim their ETH back. And if they're going to be doing it, they're going to be losing 6%. So this is a huge thing. And there can be, you know, potential bankruptcies coming in, etc. But the question really is, a lot of people are asking, so does this mean Ethereum is going to go to zero? Don't forget that this got a lot to do with staked Ethereum, not with Ethereum itself. So the staked Ethereum, uh, in my opinion, sooner or later is going to repack back to one. Reason why is because it's fully backed. It's not like Terra Luna that was, uh, you know, the UST that was backed by nothing. So, uh, staked Ethereum is backed one to one by real Ethereum. So this is just a short term, you know, catalyst event that this kind of a liquidity crisis, which, by the way, let's get to this uh, conspiracy theory by Dr. Julian Husp. The stuff they won't tell you, but I will. This game is like the Mafia. Celsius Network turned against the big boys exiting UST earlier than all of them. And this is true. Celsius was one of the uh, first to sell off huge amounts of UST and also contributing to the debugging of UST. In a, in a way, some are claiming this. And you try to exit before the others. They go after you short sell coin, so Celsius itself, liquidate, um, uh, stake the Ethereum, bank run, understand the game. So there is this, I don't have any, you know, confirming information of this, so I cannot, you know, say it's true or not. But there certainly was some kind of an attack, as a lot of people are currently saying. But it's a good thing, right? And the same thing as with the recession that is coming right now. It's going to, of course, it's going to be very difficult for the economy, for most people. It's going to be difficult for many companies. But remember that whenever we have a recession, we flush out all the garbage. You know, we have 20,000 coins right now. Some of them are good. Some of them are shit. And those that are shit are going to be flushed down the toilet and that's okay and all the algorithms that are not supposed to exist like UST and this algorithm and coin whatever bullshit it got flushed down the toilet first then maybe if Celsius will I'm not saying that it will but what if of course this is gonna have a short-term effect when all these you know issues and all these weaknesses are starting to surface during this liquidity crisis so it doesn't mean that you know Ethereum or Bitcoin is going to zero No, we are just cleaning the room it's a purge so to speak cleaning all the garbage that is unsustainable so for that reason guys and girls i do firmly believe that we're going to certainly see this issue with celsius and depegging of the staked ethereum with ethereum and there is an issue that people who staked it uh, cannot really do anything with it until the time when the main net is gonna merge to proof of stake whatever there's very a lot of complicated stuff but once it merges, once it happens, it's going to be a lot of short term pain. Yes. But at the same time, I don't see this as an issue, a core unfixable issue of Ethereum. So that means it's a very simple value investing, so to speak. So it doesn't really diminish the value of Ethereum itself. It's just a short term pain, a short term issue that is going to we're going to get over it. Just the question is, you know, how deep we're going to go uh, when it, while this, you know, kind of a capitulation is happening and this kind of issues persist. So as I said, 
thousand dollars I'm almost certain we're gonna get to a thousand dollars then something like 800 maybe something like 600 and 500 I, I doubt it honestly like 400 really doubtful of this kind of a number but anything could happen so the same thing for example let's talk about altcoins right now let's talk about Cardano so with Cardano we'll see uh, that with let's just quickly measure how deep we went 85% discount so and as we are seeing the price of Cardano going down I'm not gonna bore you with all the details but as we are seeing the price go down the network itself has a lot of breaks uh, breakthroughs it's got a lot of incredible numbers that are still increasing the users the developments the actual things that they're doing is just scaling and it's expanding like crazy while the price is going down just like everything else Chainlink Chainlink is an insane project it still is very relevant and I have a lot of it and currently trading at a 90% discount so for you know it going down to this previous top right here that we've had of four dollars uh, fifty maybe uh, am I seeing it a dollar fifty not necessarily I think that the bottom definitely is going to be in this area right here so for that reason I bought some chain link today as well that Adam Adam is just an insane project by the way this would have been a, just a beautiful short but nonetheless Adam is just an insane project also 86 percent discount uh near uh protocol also an insane project 85 percent discount xrp that is definitely and there is a rumor i think a uh, bitboy crypto said about this that there is a rumor currently that xrp actually denied settlement to the sec came to them and said listen let's just settle and xrp is so uh sure they're so sure that they're gonna win that they actually declined it so if sec is gonna lose and they will lose probably and the re the result of the lawsuit probably is gonna be next year so i'm thinking that we're gonna see an insane xrp could go as high as like ten dollars some people are saying i don't know not financial advice but it's gonna explode for sure so and currently it's trading at an 85 percent discount and we currently are trading around the median price of 2019 so look at this it's absolutely incredible the same thing goes for cake uh, there is a cool collaboration right now uh, between cake and Binance so it still is a very relevant project even though it's DeFi and uh, you know some of them uh, people could argue that you know the current legislation development in the world in the United States in terms of legislation is going to be going again uh, after DAO and DeFi but nonetheless PancakeSwap is an insanely strong project and currently traded trading at about 93 percent discount so I definitely bought some PancakeSwap today uh, then Polkadot Matic Matic the same thing look at this I mean look at this discount how much deeper can we go okay 85 so if we're going to go to this bottom right here which is going to be about 29 cents possible about 90 percent discount maybe a bit lower but still is a very good place to start accumulating um and Solana the same thing I know that Solana is having a lot of issues a lot of outages etc but their team is very strong and what they're doing is I'm pretty sure that they're going to come up with the solutions not financial advice but I am investing in Solana I bought some well I bought some at some high prices as it goes I have to admit then I bought some lower and then some lower and then I just bought some today as well so I'm gonna actually maybe buy even more today so right now we're trading at about 90 percent discount where do I see Solana go probably around 20 dollars potentially so there's going to be previous support that we've seen in this area from uh, last year do I see Solana going to something like five dollars to see a 98 percent discount not really I mean the worst case scenario for me would be probably 10 to 15 dollars in this vicinity of 94 percent discount but even then I don't really think so if we're gonna see these kinds of prices I'm gonna be buying using hundreds of thousands of dollars I'll be I'll I'll sell my golden Rolls Royce and my golden G class and I'll put it all into altcoins because it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous so yeah so this is the current situation and uh, when it comes to BNB BNB is still holding quite strong we still have this area of support very important one and uh, well Binance is really big so 67 percent discount so it's like one of the coins that held up really well actually so you know is it gonna ever go to something like 28 dollars highly doubtful I have, very, I have very much doubted so yeah this is pretty much the current situation let me know what do you think down in the comments and remember if you want to get any one of these tokens then uh you can do it over on Bybit and again all the links to my affiliate links with all the bonuses down in the description so it's really a good time to start accumulating and remember that there is also down in the description of the video a link to my um three hour crypto course on just investing into crypto how to build a portfolio how to manage it where to find information 
where to store your crypto safely, how to open an account, how to do it all properly. So if you're interested in a quick three hour course on how to do it all properly, then links also down in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And there is also 75% discount on it, which is gonna probably end in a few days. So use this opportunity. And thank you very much for watching. Peace and love, Tom Scrollo. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.